Now, if you think about what happens in most organisations, probably your organisation is, the most senior leaders spend months, weeks and months, looking at data, looking at forces, speaking to corporate, going through reams and reams and reams and reams of data, conversation, interaction, analysis, in order to come up with a direction, a strategy, a vision, right? We take months, six months to do that. We're all clear. Then what do we do? We go out to the organisation and we say, guys, we're heading north. It's very important we head north. And we forget that it's taken us weeks and months through analysing data, lots of conversations, in order to come to the conclusions that we have. We just tell, we start telling and selling. We try and drive them, we rev them up, we encourage them, we you know, offer carrots and sticks, we drive for compliance. We try and energise them with our level of commitment. A much more effective way to do this is not to drive, not to tell and sell, but to allow them to see what you see, to allow them to see what you see. And if your logic is sound and your motive is pure, they will often come to the same conclusions you have, only now they own it. So what I mean by that is, I don't mean that you're going to take your, all your you know, 5,000 staff on a journey of six months of working through the strategy now. So it's your job to do that, right? That's why you guys get paid the big bucks. It's your, your, stra it's your strategy. It's, that's your job. However, when you go out to your people, rather than tell and sell, what you might do is say, look, guys, as you'd expect, we've been focused on this for weeks and months. You know, that's, that's exactly what we're paid to do. And we've been analysing all these forces of data. Let us share with you the top five forces that we see impacting us in the business right now. And you share those forces. And then you ask a Socratic question. Team, what do you see are the major forces beyond those that are impacting you? Do you see anything else? Now you're in a dialogue. Now they're sitting with you on your side of the table, looking at the problem the same way, rather than sitting back in their chair with their arms folded, saying, all right, boss, convince me, all right? So we allow them to see what we see. Given those challenges that we've now talked about, given those, these are the conclusions, these are some of the conclusions we came to. That we have to get in this business and out of this business. How do you see that? Where do you see the opportunity to do that in your part of the world? And then finally, we can get to some very specific stuff. So you get to, well, guys, here's what all that means in terms of our future strategy. And obviously, that's not up for grabs. This is the path we're going down. This is where we're making serious investments and all the rest of it. And my question for you is, how can you make your maximum contribution? What are the goals that you have that are most aligned to this? Where do you see you can make the greatest impact? And again, you will have your people with you looking at the problem and the opportunity, not sitting across from you waiting to be motivated by you. And then the second you go away, they go back to doing what they always did.